Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Ethan, this is Cobra. Welcome to the series where I teach you how to build a Discord or pop up for your server. Today we are tackling the first request uh, video. I've got this huge long list of requests uh, that people have made in the comments and the Discord server. And this is the first one. This is doing a giveaway command. This is very heavily requested and it's very easy to do, so I thought I would do this one first. Um, so uh, I'm actually going to keep the same bot. I was planning on making a new one potentially and doing it from there, but I think it's better to use the same ID with the same bot um, so all the code is familiar to people that have seen the series and we don't have to, to worry about talking about different changes and stuff. Um, so I'm going to go into my React reaction, there it is, Reactions Cog, and we are going to be doing it, well this is the same file that we did the polls in. And in a way, this is actually very similar to the polls themselves. Um, so we are going to have, I guess, a create giveaway command. Um, has permissions, manage, we probably don't need to do, well, I guess manage guild equals true or not. Um, async def creates and then giveaway. Self, context, and then I guess the number of I guess the number of minutes to run for potentially. We'll see. We uh, we might change that. Um, not a question. It would be the. I guess then it would be like a description or something. You could have, and this description would be what the giveaway actually says. So enter now for a chance to win this or whatever. Uh, I will say about the minutes because this did cause some confusion with some other things. Uh, regardless of whatever unit I use here, you will uh, need to convert it if you want to use a different unit. So if you want to, if you want to use hours, if I do stick with minutes, you need to do that. If you want to use seconds, you need to do that as well. Um, I just say that because I did hours here and then I test it with seconds and people got confused. So I just wanted to put that out there. Um, so realistically, this is going to be pretty similar to this. Uh, so we're going to need an embed and we're going to need fields. And we're gonna do. We're just gonna copy paste this for now. We're just gonna change stuff when we need to. Uh, so I'm gonna do giveaway. Um, and then we have a description. Just equals description. So this would be the kind of the teaser text in a way. Uh, CTS to author color is fine. Timestamp is date time of UTC now is fine. Remember you need to import uh, or from date time import date time. There we go. Uh, we don't really need any fields at all. Actually we probably do. Um, so we could do end time because an event and end time is very important. Um, and we probably don't need all this. So we could probably do um, so okay so we're doing this in minutes so it would be date time dot utc now plus uh, and this is again in UTC, so it'd be you need to if you want to do it on system time, you can do it UTC. You can do now, but I'm just doing UTC now because it's easier. Um, actually, you probably want to specify that it's UTC as well, so we'll just do that, and then we'll say U, UTC. Um, and then we want to do time delta. We did import that good. Seconds equals mins multiplied by sixty. Yes. Um, this is what I was saying before, if you're doing hours it would be 3600 and stuff, but you will need to make sure that you pass the correct thing in here. Um, and then we just have our stuff and then we send the message. Okay, I just realised something while I was looking through, uh, refreshing myself on how stuff works. I actually need to define it as a command. That would be a good start. Uh, so we could do command name equals giveaway, not a capital, uh, giveaway. And then that will actually invoke the name of the command. Did kind of forget to do that, but never mind. Um, so what we can do here is we can use the same, uh, just use the same system as um, polls. If you want more persistent stuff, then you would do it in a database. I'm not going to show you how to do that because this is just a simple thing. Um, if you watched my previous tutorials about databases um, and how they work with the bot, you should be able to do that part yourself. Um, this is just kind of the logic into how to get a giveaway system working in general and we can probably just copy paste this as well to be completely honest with you. Um, we will need to add the reaction but we will just do that here. Um, so await message.add reaction and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get the 
the the, uh, the tick. Um, so I can't remember what it's called. I think it's, is it like check? Oh, I've got all the nitro ones now. I've got nitro since I did it before, so I've got all all those ones um, intermingled with everything else. Uh, so just copy that and add that in there. So that will just add that reaction. So uh, that is what people will use to enter giveaways. Uh, so we have our we need to do giveaways dot append and we have our message channel ID message ID so we can fetch it later on raw reaction add and then we need to do a complete giveaway command uh, and then we need to do seconds okay I'm gonna do seconds equals minutes again this is for testing in production you would do mins times 60 I'm doing seconds equals mins for testing purposes um, also, and then I think everything else should be good cool so now we need to write our complete giveaway function uh, or method, which is going to take self, it's going to take channel ID, and it's going to take a message ID. And we are just going to grab our message using the same method. Um, we're also going to select a, lo uh, a loser, a winner, <laughs> by simply doing, I believe it would be, actually, do we have random import? No, we don't. So we need to from random import choice. So it's not you can just import random and do random dot choice. It's up to you. Uh, where is it? There we go. <clears throat> so we do a choice, and we need to get the uh, all the people that reacted to the the message. So we need to do uh, await. Um, I think it's an await call in it. Let me just double check that. Okay, it is. So you can do message dot reactions and the zeroth one because the zeroth one will always be that little tick because it'll be the first one. Regardless of if there's any other reactions, it'll always be that. Um, dot users. So that's actually a, a coroutine. So we have to, if we await call, it has to be, have these parentheses. And then we also need to flatten it because we need it as a list. Um, <clears throat> Because choice uh, chooses between an iterable, it doesn't necessarily matter what I think. Okay, apparently this will actually work. Um, uh, so yeah, this all just return a list into choice, and then the winner would just be it would just choose a member randomly from the list. Um, <clears throat> now of course, we do need to make sure that the bot doesn't pick itself. Um, so what we actually probably want to do is we want to do a little bit of list comprehension, not do control delete like I just did. <laughs> um, oops. Oh my goodness. Come on. There we go. That and then do you for you in fan if not you dot bot. That'll just grab all bots. In theory, uh, a bot shouldn't react but it's actually cheaper just to do a bot check rather than to check the specific user so you might as well just do a bot check i could probably go up there so now we have our winner we need to announce the winner so we can do await message Ugh. oh my goodness if sublime actually wants to cooperate channel dot send um congratulations uh winner dot mention because it is a member object um, you won the giveaway and you can put whatever you like in here then we can do self dot giveaways dot remove uh, and then message the, the tuple it has to be tuple this is a channel dot id message dot id cool fantastic so with any luck <laughs> this should just work um, as you can see, Carburetor's got a new icon. We are actually rebuilding Carburetor uh, from the ground up. So when Carburetor is actually running in the server, it's not going to use the same code as in the tutorial series. I will make that very clear in all the repos and stuff. Just thought I'd point out. So if we do... Not that, that's prefix a different bot. <laughs> uh, giveaway. And then we need the number of minutes. So we'll say 10 seconds or 10 minutes. Uh, but it'll run for 10 seconds. Um... <clears throat> And then we can simply, well, I don't actually need to quote so that this is a giveaway. Oh, that should work. There we go. Uh, so this is a giveaway. End time, as you can see, we are, okay, it's a bit broken, but as you can see, it is, it is 10 minutes from UTC. If I just react to it, we're now entered. And when it ends, 
I won! Fantastic! I reacted just in time. Um, if no one enters, it may break. <laughs> Let me just, um... Uh... Test that. I'm not sure if it will send the message. We probably want to do some handling anyway to say that no one entered. Um... Yeah, it does actually error. Okay. Uh, so we do need to do a little bit of error handling. Count on here, complete giveaway. Um, if, if Len... Oh, we actually need to do that a bit higher. Um, so we can take this out. If Len... Uh, and we're going to define entrance as this. So this is a list of all the entrants anyway, so we're going to define that and we're going to say if it is if len is greater than 1 uh, so if, if someone entered, because it will always be actually no, it would be if greater than 0, because it doesn't count the bots um, so if someone entered, we then choose um, because if it's just 1, it will just choose from a list of 1, which will work uh, else uh, we'll put a space. Um, await message dot channel. We'll just copy paste this stuff because most of it's going to be roughly the same. Um, so giveaway ended. No one entered, and then it will uh, it will get rid of the giveaway from the list. Uh, so if we launch that again, we should. Uh, if I just copy paste this command here. Oops, not get rid of Discord. Like a noob. So if no one enters, it should just. Yeah, giveaway ended, no one entered. If you do it again, and I actually do enter, so I've I've entered myself into the giveaway, we then win the giveaway because we're the only one. Um, it doesn't matter how many people enter, it will just pick one at the, at the final time. Um, so yeah, that is how to build a very basic giveaway system. As I said uh, near the top of the video, uh, if you wanted to do some persistent stuff, if, especially if you want to do this on multi-server, but you probably want to use a database. Single server just doing the list is okay. This is, a, as I said, a very basic implementation. Uh, I like to give you some homework. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments, or you can join the Discord server using the link in the description. Uh, well, uh, and while you're down there, I've got some new places where you can find me too, like a Twitter and a Facebook and a library and all that stuff. Um, so if you want to have a look at those, then those links are down in the description too. But that brings us to the end of the video. If you liked it, the so down below. If you really liked it, consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell so you don't miss some future uploads. And if you really, really liked it, consider supporting me on Patreon. It'd be a really cool thing of you to do, but of course you don't have to. Um, with that in mind, I'd like to thank my super patrons, Adam Jaya and Jackster, and I will see you next time for whatever we do. I don't know exactly what that is yet, but it'll probably be another request video like this one, so I'll see you for that.